Hello everyone. My name is Cormi. Um, this is my very first video on YouTube. I'm starting a new channel. It's called PLT by Cormi. It means Pretty Little Things by Cormi. Um, I got that from my eBay store. Um, well, where I specialize in basically just selling pretty things um, for both men, women, and children. Um, what got me started on wanting to do a channel is the fact that I don't know, I see so much stuff on the internet and so many things on these different TV shows and there really isn't a voice out there to um, come back with some of the opinions that a viewer like myself and you um, would have. So feel free to respond to anything I'm saying and um, whether it's something you agree with or not. Today I really want to start off with black hair and if you notice my hair is in its raw natural state and I have no makeup on and that was another thing that was important to me because if you notice the profile picture is totally all glammed up hair is pressed out and flat ironed and I have concealer makeup and then there's probably even a little bit of Photoshop on there as well so I think that was really important to do a video for maybe even the young girls out there that are watching this that don't always believe what you, what you see on those uh, magazine covers um, because believe me there's a before and an after I'm living proof okay so we're snowed in today I'm in Delaware County and we have over two feet of snow on the ground and falling and I'm from Texas so um, people from Texas when it snows we stay inside so I'm gonna make my first video about black hair so get into the point I really wanted to comment on black hair when I first seen Oprah's uh, show that she did with Chris Rock several weeks back about black hair, his new movie um, that he was promoting. And there were some good points of views on, on her show, um, but I feel like, like black hair just really was not portrayed um, as far as the positive at all really you know he was so awestruck that Oprah had long black hair that was thick and that was real and didn't have extensions in it that I, I really like wanted to write the show and say um, you know for someone who should be well traveled you know and has been around the world and worked with so many different people I find it kind of um, odd that you've never run into a black woman who has long hair that's hers especially with the fact that I've been online and seen a lot of women who have their own hair so I really wanted to comment on that there are black women that have real long hair that aren't mixed biracially black and white you know both um, parents mother and father you know directly are black and white there are black women both light and dark skin short and tall thick or small like skinny um, that have real hair um, that do wear their natural hair. Um, my hair right now is a product of growing a relaxer out. I, I am almost 30. I'm 29 now. I got my first relaxer in the seventh grade. I think it was about 13 or 14. I begged my mother for years to put a relaxer in my hair because I have a younger sister who's a half sister who um, had a different texture of hair than me. Um, but my mother started relaxing her hair when she was about four years old and I saw that it was really straight and it wasn't you know kinky or bushy on the edges and I really wanted that I thought it was so pretty the problem is that the the perm like ended up burning her edges so bad that like she had like ball spot um, problems and she has those problems to this day to where now she's like totally just cut all her hair off like she did a buzz cut like Britney Spears um, so I really wanted to talk about the fact that the secret ingredient to, to long hair really is just letting it grow washing it conditioning it um, and maintaining it managing it I mean you don't have to comb it out every day you don't have to put special wraps on it I don't sleep with a hair tie on my head at nighttime um, unless I'm trying to preserve maybe a salon visit um, but as far as the hair growing I mean it's it sounds like 
I'm being condescending, but if you really think about it and you get to the nitty gritty, because I was a victim of the product junk like out there on the shelves, repair this, make it grow this, castor oil this, um, you know, super grow grease this. And at the end of the day, when I just stopped and I just let my hair grow, um, that's when I've been able to experience full thick hair that doesn't break off and shed in the sink when I'm combing it, relaxing it, styling it and um, that's what's worked best for me. I may put a little bit of um, oil in my hair or bile silk or a little shine you know when I'm flat ironing it to maintain um, the style or to manage the little flyaways that I get but I try not to um, flat iron my hair in more than twice a week um, just because it's obvious if you put heat on your hair it's gonna burn I mean it's not um, your hair isn't metal <laughs> and even metal if you look at the flat iron it has all those little burnt marks on it so even that's gonna burn so what do you think it's gonna do to these little strands on your hair but anyway back to um, hair growing it, I mean it's it's hard it really is when you go from having a perm for uh, 14 14 years you know I had a or 13 years I had a perm in my hair and I just started growing my hair out um, two years and seven months ago so my hair is completely this is all natural I have my hair trimmed on uh, December 11th so that was the last of the relaxer that was trimmed off my edges so this is a hundred percent natural I don't even have color in my hair I have a little bit of a little bit of thinning because um, I have a, a 12 month old and so um, that's to be expected with a new baby but my hair is really thick there's no extensions right now this is natural like meaning <laughs> so natural it was in a ponytail for the last two or three days and I was gonna wash it and then I like got online and I saw these videos and it just really pisses me off because people are so ignorant to the fact that there are a lot of beautiful black women out there who are you know from the islands and from Africa and from even the United States and you know they have long hair just because you don't know them doesn't mean that they don't exist so that's why I'm here so I talked about um, Oprah and Chris Rock so I love you Oprah I watch you every day I DVR you but the fact that you didn't really have any other black women on there with long hair mm, gotta ding you for that one but I must say your hair is quite beautiful um, to your girl Gail for saying that Oprah your hair is too long um, there are a lot of white women out there who have extremely long hair matter of fact I have a magazine right here BAM Angelina Jolie and yes she is a little bit younger than Oprah so I've heard the whole you know when women get older it doesn't look like they're too, trying to be too young if their hair is really long but that's crazy I mean hair is luxurious and it's and it and it makes you look you know sophisticated and and it says something about you that you can take care of yourself that you can that you can manage something that you know people spend billions and billions of dollars on um, but I talked about the hair secret which is to leave it alone do not dye your hair do not relax your hair do not um, flat iron your hair every single day of the week and most importantly like with any kind of advice um, if someone has really short hair and they're saying oh you know I used to have long hair and I cut it all off like if you want to have long thick hair then listen to somebody who has long thick hair because at the end of the day you know you should take advice from people or you know people that you aspire to be like or you know someone whose hair is long and thick then I would take their advice before I take advice from someone who's having breakage issues um, I'm not totally against like coloring your hair at a certain point but I think that it is it is like detrimental to the to the strength and the condition of your hair like if you relax and color your hair it's gonna break off I have pretty strong hair my hair broke off and that is the reason why I decided to grow my hair out um, over two and a half years ago so my hair is this long when it's curly um, so I'll, I'll do a future video to where you can see it when it's flat iron but this is two years 
and seven months of growth. And so in two years and seven months, the hair will be down.